Hello, third grade, and welcome back to Social Studies. Uh, today, we are going to continue talking about the Spanish um, and their explorations in North America. Um, I did yesterday, I asked you to go ahead and get your Explorers chart out, because today we are going to put on, um, we are going to put Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. He was from Spain, and he searched for El Dorado and cities of gold, and he also found the Grand Canyon. So go ahead and make sure that you put that down on your explorer's chart. Um, <clears throat> I also want you, you're gonna see that there's a question on uh, Google Classroom. I wanna know what you, where do you think this legend of a city of gold came from? Where do you think um, Coronado found this? We talked about legends uh, with Remus and Romulus and um, how um, you know they, they're based in fact. So was this based in fact? That's kind of what I wanna know. So um, go ahead and, um, answer that question in the Google Classroom. Now go ahead and take out your reader and we are going to be on page 48. We are starting chapter four in Spanish North America. The big question, why did the Spanish decide to build settlements in North America north of Mexico? Um, our little fun fact up here, the Spanish built settlements in Florida starting with St. Augustine in 1565. Okay, so that's our little Spanish conquistador, which we are going to learn Okay, Sarah, Sarah needed to have her little minute of fame. Okay, here we go. We are on page 48. Florida. In the 1500s and the early 1600s, Spanish conquerors built a huge empire in the Americas. The empire included islands in the Caribbean Sea and large areas in Mexico, Central America, and South America. So if we come over here and we look at our map, um, we are looking at this area here. This is the Caribbean, the West Indies. We have Mexico, Central America, and then parts of South America. Okay. All right. So back where we are. Okay. <clears throat> These Spanish conquerors were called conquistadors, which is the Spanish word for conqueror. At first, they were not very interested in conquering North America. They had not found treasure there. Again, where did this story that there was all this gold, cities of gold in North America, where did that come from? Where did that legend start? And there is no right or wrong answer for that. It's an opinion. Um, so you all should have many opinions on that. But their ambitions began to change. The Spanish ambitions began to change. Spanish merchant ships often sailed from the South America along the coast of Florida to Spain. Okay, let's go back over here to our map so we can see this. Okay, the Spanish merchant ships, they're going to be coming up the coast of Florida, right here, and then sailing all the way over here back to Spain, okay? <clears throat> These ships carried treasures from the settlements in South America back to Spain, and you're gonna find that the British, when we talk about the 13 colonies, this is another thing that the British did um, with the American colonies. English, Dutch, and French pirate ships began trying to capture the Spanish treasure ships. The Spaniards wanted to protect their ships. They decided the best way to do that was to set up forts and settlements along the coast of Florida in North America. In 1565, a Spaniard named Pedro Menendez de Avales I'm not good with Spanish Spanish names. I'm sure many of you can probably pronounce that better than I can. <laughs> Landed 1,500 colonists on nor the northeastern coast of Florida. He landed not far from where Ponce de Leon had come ashore more than 50 years before. Menendez achieved the goal that Ponce de Leon had not. He set up a successful Spanish colony in Florida. The colony was called St. Augustine. It still exists. It is the oldest continuing European settlement in the United States. The Spaniards built similar settlements elsewhere in Florida. The Roman Catholic Church sent priests to build religious outposts called missions. Native Americans were brought in to do the work. Catholic priests taught the workers about Christianity. This kind of settlement helped Spain gain control of a wide area in Florida. The Southwest and California. Spain also expanded its empire by moving north from Mexico into the Spanish or into the American Southwest. Those areas are now Texas, 
Arizona, New Mexico, and Nevada. To do this, the Spaniards built a network of forts and missions. The forts were known as presidios. The forts helped the Spanish control Native Americans who rebelled against them. Native Americans who joined the missions received food and a safe place to live. In return, they had to work and worship <clears throat> at the mission. They had to learn to live like the Spaniards. This meant they had to give up most of their old ways of life, including their religious beliefs. Okay, we are going to stop there for today and pick up tomorrow with what life is like in a mission. All right, have a good Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.